Review, 2022 Ford Bronco Raptor bedevils the dust, terrorizes all terrain, for $69,995. Please support us by pressing the like button and subscribe so that this channel will grow and provide many benefits for you, thank you. You don't use a sledgehammer to drive in a picture hook. You don't swat a fly with Edward's scissor hands. And you certainly don't make a bun cake in a springform pan. You, an enthusiastic driver, need the right tool for the job. Especially when you're a hundred miles from Los Angeles, in blistering triple-digit heat, specifically to cake your innards in dust and flip the workweek grimace into a wide grin. Enter the 2022 Ford Bronco Raptor. Like the F-150 Raptor, it's lightly contained chaos, a size-large container of whoop-ass available retail for the street, no after-modding needed. Unveiled earlier this year, the Ford Bronco Raptor, we've dubbed it the Braptor to save some letters, sports a hilariously wide body, turbocharged V6 power, a long travel suspension, and a claimed 111 mph top speed. If that sounds low, its sticker price won't, it's $69,995, including destination. The Ford Bronco Raptor doesn't wobble on its heels on the highway. An everyday commuter, it isn't, but it's easy enough to live with, day in, day out. It's purpose-built for high-speed, off-road rampages. To fit the part, it wears the oddly tiered look that all bro-dozers share, it's like a smaller vehicle drove up into the middle of a much bigger car and parked there. It's so big, it doesn't fit in the Bronco factory without some modifications. But that's just the start, the Bronco Raptor stuffs a 418 horsepower twin-turbo 3.0-liter V6 with 440 lbft of torque under its vented fiberglass hood, and ships its output to all four wheels through a 10-speed paddle-shifted automatic transmission. A performance dual exhaust system with differing runner lengths comes with an electronic valve system that can damp exhaust noise for quieter driving, or let the Raptor rip. It's been through a few rounds of anabolic add-ons. The four-wheel drive system is shared with other Broncos, but the Sasquatch package's two-speed transfer case comes here with a 3.06 for a low ratio for a 67.7 to 1 crawl ratio. A bigger drive shaft sends power to a Dana 50 rear axle, a Dana 44 axle slings things up front. All around, thicker half shafts, from 5mm to 9mm, stiffen the Bronco Raptor's ability to withstand impacts from its aerial axe, more on that in a bit. All told, the Raptor's track ends up 8.6 inches wider than a stock Bronco's and it can tow up to 4,500 pounds thanks to a specific Raptor tow-slash-haul mode and additional space under the body that permits a stouter hitch. Elsewhere down under, the Bronco Raptor adapts the F-150 Raptor suspension, shocks, hubs, brakes, and exhaust. It retunes the other Raptor's Fox 3.1 internal bypass semi-active dampers for its specific weight and traction needs. Its 17-inch wheels, beadlock-capable wheels will be available, come wrapped in 37-inch BF Goodrich K0-2 all-terrain tires that bolt to an M14 pattern like the F-150 rather than the standard Bronco's M12 pattern.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.